There's a new restaurant on the dining scene in downtown Las Vegas off Main Street featuring unique food and local art. Here to tell us more about the new venue and specialty offerings is executive chef Sterling Buckley and managing partner Rudy Aguas. Welcome, guys. Hey. Hi there. Well, thank thank, you, thank, you, thank you. you. This is, I mean, everything looks incredible so far, but where did this vision come from? So the, the vision is, is to pay homage to the art district, you know, with the history and just the, the, the sense of community. So palette is the food is art, the cocktail are art and featuring local artwork from local artistic people in Vegas. So speaking of art, uh, one of the things you offer at Palette is t like a table side building of plates and one of them you're going to show us here this morning. Yes, absolutely. This is our Painter's Palette Beef Tartare. Painter's Palette Ooh. Beef Tartare. So this is so cool yeah. by the way, this yeah. presentation Thank right here. Thank you so much. And you do this table side. We do this table side and what it is, it's a nice four ounces of beef filet and then we have a uh, furikake which is a Japanese condiment, and then there's some crunchy ryu in there as well. Um, there's watermelon radish. And I want to know what that sauce together. is that you're so putting in there. Yeah, some mustard that is, stuff that, in that there. That is a ryu aioli, Ooh. crunchy ryu aioli, which is like a crispy condiment, so and then th we pour this it is, into this. This is obviously an example of what people can expect when they come in. How did you go about creating the menu? Is it all centered around the, the art of food, or is it, you know, was it, is it seasonal? How do, you, how do you go about selecting? Absolutely. It's all about, we go seasonality, but we also think about creative dishes and creative food, things that you've never seen before, ways that we just want to have fun. Like you said, pay an homage to art, food is art, and how else can we do that by making a tartare that's kind of art? And yeah. we just fold it up like this, and then I take this, boom, boom. And I see something on the side that you're putting those next to. Yes, these are <laughs> foie gras cornbread, and we bake all of our breads in-house. Um, that's our, from our cornbread bao buns, to our blueberry spoon bread, to everything we bake in-house, uh, banana bread. We do it all in-house, make it very special. I mean, with that, with that in mind as well, with the, I mean, the, you know, people, people, I think most people are aware of a basic beef tartare, or they're aware of the basic cornbread, but what you're doing here is changing it, and like you said, being artistic with it. Cornbread with, with, with foie gras inside, is there that, that element of trying to push an envelope, trying to challenge people's expectations of food? Absolutely, and all with mixing it in with a little bit of, uh, of our cultures and everything kind of, uh, you know, mixing in, um, of course, you know, cornbread is a southern thing, so I mix yeah. like southern with French or modern American Fusion. or yeah. Latin American, that's kind of it. So we don't play by the rules, we kind of just do it our way and just have fun and make it artistic, make it beautiful, make Be it creative. colorful, yeah. being creative. Yeah. Well, it's clear, I mean, the, the presentations are, are incredible, but I see something in the corner over here. With all of this incredible food is going to be some exciting cocktails, Who I bet. Who doesn't like cocktails, right? So I don't uh, know, I don't, yeah. I don't want to know that person. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so with the um, amazing food, food program we have, we created a, a wonderful cocktail menu. So we have something with the classics going from old fashioned to Manhattan's, but we also like to have fun with our cocktails too. So right over here, this is called The Rose. It's actually named after Beth Miller's The Rose uh, song. So it is huckleberry uh, base with a little elderflower and some hibiscus syrup. It's actually going to get served table side on what we call the love potion. Um, we're going to spritz a little rose water on top. Oh. And then the rose actually goes to the guests. Aww. So everyone gets a little. Well, I do like fi my firework <laughs> noises. Ooh! <laughs> ah. All right, and then it gets served table side for you. Very that pretty. That is beautiful. Yeah. Um, right over here in, in, in our box is called the smoking section. This is our coconut wash whiskey. Uh, we infuse the coconut oil with a little bit of a white chocolate um, coffee with some mushrooms, a little cinnamon raisin, and a little prosciutto uh, to kind of wow. balance the flavors. It's, it's, it seems to me that the whole the menu and the drink program mm -hmm. is inspired for, to be like talking points to. To, to, to pique people's interest and yeah. to, you know, to get them to think about what they're eating rather than just you know, yeah. going through the motions of just meat, cheese, drink. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, like, you know, it's, it's a challenging thing and a yeah. talking point almost. It's an experience, right? Yeah. So when, when you're dining, dining out, you want to you know, uh, remember the experience that you had. So a lot of our food and cocktails and stuff, it's, it's something that you can post about it, talk about it, and, mm -hmm. and, and tell your friends about it. Well, this so. is clearly an experience, but really quick before we, we wrap up here, the, you guys are doing something for our furry pups that, that is really cute, and then you're also offering brunch. Tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, so we started brunch right away. Um, we had our first one this past Sunday, very uh, successful. Um, Sterling created another wonderful menu uh, for us. As far as for, um, for, for our puppy friends, we created a puppy hour. Uh, chef created a barcuterie board so that we can offer. Barcuterie 
Uh, oh, cutery. Yeah. Very clever. That's so cute. So we're very uh, pet friendly. Uh, you can bring your dogs and do a little puppy hour. You guys sound great. Yeah, check this it is out. great, guys. Yeah. So check out Palette, the newly developed Colorado building in downtown Las Vegas. And for all info and reservations, visit palettelv.com. Let's have some cornbread. Oh, yeah.